Hey, I'm Nick with OnlineBusiness.tv, and in this video, I want to talk about Kajabi versus Teachable. And I feel like I'm tipping my hand a little bit as to which one I like more because I'm wearing the free shirt that Kajabi gave me. But that's not why I like Kajabi more. That's not why I switched from Teachable to Kajabi. I, but I do want to share that with you, why I switched, here are the different reasons. Plus, we're going to go behind the scenes of both accounts because I still have both accounts active for one of our businesses because we haven't moved everybody over yet, so I'll talk more about that. But we'll jump behind the scenes here and take a look at both products, and I'll talk about why we made the switch from Teachable to Kajabi. Now, Teachable is a great product. That's what we started out with. We, our organization, primarily does online courses, and we did, we did and do some coaching as well, but courses were primarily what we were creating. Then we wanted to create a membership where you could get access to all of those courses under one monthly membership fee, and get coaching added on to that and some things like that. And that's where we started to run into some trouble. Now Teachable added coaching to their package near the end of, you know, before we made the switch, but still it just wasn't quite good enough for us. And so that's why one of the big reasons we were looking around, trying to figure out what was out there, had heard of Kajabi before, had seen it, but boy did it grow a lot in just a few years from when we started our business to when we were now looking into this again. So let's jump into my screen here will take a look at my account and I'll walk you through um, both Teachable and Kajabi. This is our Kajabi account, but I'm actually going to start with Teachable. This is the landing page you hit when you come in. This is what it looks like behind the scenes. Uh, I don't. That was a good month, uh, obviously in May of that year. But here is where we switched. Right about here is where we switched to Kajabi, and you can tell because the sales on this platform started going down. Literally, the only reason we still have Teachable is because we have recurring monthly membership subscribers on this platform paying through this uh, platform. We've tried to make them switch and just haven't got them all switched yet. So we've got many people moved over, not all of them. So that's why we still have both accounts. But that's good for you because you can kind of get a tour behind the scenes here and see what each product looks like. Now, you have users here. Here's where you can manage your site. You can see your sales. Um, I never really did much with emails in Teachable, but you can manage that here. But for the most part, if you're using Teachable, it's probably because you have courses or coaching, and coaching is what they added later. They added bundles too, which is great. And this is one of the reasons we made the move to Kajabi is because we felt like it was more flexible beyond just courses. So I think it's great that Teachable is creating some other options there. But let me click on courses. You can see a list of the courses we have here and... I'm just going to click on one of these so you can kind of see what it looks like on the back end here. And here's kind of where you can get to like the page, the main information. Over here you can click on curriculum and that's where you can, you know, create sessions and modules and add videos and content and things like that. So I'm going to come here and click on this one. And we actually at the time of, you know, I'm recording this, we had embedded our videos in Vimeo instead of uploading them to Teachable. See, this is another frustration we had with Teachable. The reason we did that is because Teachable upload videos were limited to two gigs at the time. I don't know if that's still the case. And that was hard because we weren't, you know, we were uploading videos that were 15, 20 minutes, um, sometimes 30 minutes. You know, some of our courses have longer content and that two gig upload was hard because it made us have a lower quality and we didn't love that. So we we're, again, we were hacking around something that we didn't like. And, and a lot of this is, easy it's pretty simple to use i didn't love the interface of what it looks like on the front end here's a preview of that so if i come here and i'm, I'm taking this course i click on session one now again we embedded it here in vimeo that's why it looks like it does it could be wider it could scale to the window um and then you know content this course doesn't have any content below it but you know downloads and things like that uh, that's where that would be beneath that and it's okay. It's an okay look. It's built for courses. It's pretty simple. But again, one of the reasons we switched is because we felt like Kajabi gave a better look for that. So I'm going to go back here to the main dashboard. We did not end up using Teachable for coaching, so I'm not going to jump in and show you that. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Kajabi here. In Kajabi, everything is called a product. Uh, it's kind of under that banner. So whether it's a course or coaching or a membership or uh, you know, members only podcast, a mem you know, anything like that. It would be a product. Maybe it's a bundle. You saw Teachable starts to call that bundles. If I click over here and I click on, let's see this course here, frequency. 
this is similar to Teachable. You can now see an outline of the course. Uh, Kajabi has actually updated this recently, changed the look of this. But you can quickly add content. You know, you can publish or unpublish content. You can edit stuff in here. So if I click on this, it takes me in. And here I can see the, you know, title. I can upload the video, which I already did here. I can put a little description below, or maybe there's a bunch of notes for that session. Uh, beneath that, you can upload downloads. And so we have three downloads that you can see there. Kajabi has automations where, you know, you can add an automation here that, hey, when somebody marks this done, this happens. They get this email or this tag gets added uh, to their account. And then on the right here, there's a graphic. Now on the front end, this is what it looks like to the user. This is one of the reasons we switched because I just like this look more, right? It's got the video up top. If you have videos in that section, it's easy to click to the next one, right? And watch that. You've got the bio on the side, which don't really care about that too much, but you have, you have description here. Uh, if I go back to that first module, you can see the downloads are right here. So I just think it has a better look and feel in Kajabi. So if I'm you know, a user using one of these courses, or if I'm a member and I'm subscribed to all these courses, I just like that it's all packaged right here. And if I come up and click on my courses and bundles, they're all right here. You know, I can go through and get them. And even more than that, if you really build it out well, you can have a membership like we do, and then the membership product itself is kind of like a landing page where people can come, you know, navigate to everything you need to help them get to, and it makes it easy. So those are some of the biggest reasons why we switched from Teachable to Kajabi, and I just want to highlight them again here real quick. I thought it was a better look for the, the experience, you know, what it looked like to take a course in there. It was built to handle other things other than courses. So digital products, we have bundles, digital resources that you can buy and download, and it, it just made sense. We did that in Teachable, but again, it felt like we were hacking our way around it, right? Uh, the video upload was much better in Kajabi. The limits, there are limits, but it was higher. So it was easier to upload our videos right there. They looked great, HD quality. That whole thing was, was excellent. The membership was another big reason we moved to Kajabi because in Teachable, you could create one product that would then give you access to all these other products, kind of like a membership, but there was no hub. There was no home base for members. Like when they log in, it was just all the courses and and that was it, you know? And again, I, they, maybe they're making some changes there. Um, I saw, you know, they've added coaching and Teachable's added bundles, but Kajabi seemed to do that well already. And one of my favorite things, one of the biggest reasons we made the move is because they continue to innovate and improve. So I love that, you know, it seems like every few months they're rolling out an update with a different name. Uh, and with that update, they um, add features, they fix things. You know, if there's anything that's wrong, they certainly fix that, which is great. And so we just felt like it's been a great product. We switched. It's been almost a year now, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. If you want to check out Kajabi, you can use my link at onlinebusiness.tv slash Kajabi. That's my affiliate link but you do not have to use that if you don't want to. However, if you do, you can get free coaching from me. I'll help you set up your Kajabi account, do a call or more calls with you to help you get that rolling. And maybe if you're making the switch like I did, that would be helpful. Now, let me show you the one downside. The, the one downside to Kajabi when it comes to comparing it to Teachable, and for that reason, I'm gonna jump back into behind the scenes here because that downside is pricing. Uh, with Teachable, you could get on for $29 a month. And then in our case, we were on the pro plan for $99 a month because we had a lot more products. We wanted to use the discounted um, pricing that's built in there, the no transaction fee versus the 5% transaction fee. So we were on this $99 per month plan. And let me click on monthly because actually it's $119 at the time of this video per month unless you're paying annual. Don't you hate it when like, there's that annual button, but it's already checked, so it looks better than what it really is. Uh, they all do that. Well, that's the downside with Kajabi is uh, it's a lot more expensive. You know, the cheapest one is 119 a month, and again, that's with the annual discount. So it's 149 dollars a month. Again, at the time of this recording, and that's the cheapest plan. Now, the reason for that is Kajabi's designed to be an all-in-one solution. The whole point is that you could use it for your email, your website, your marketing, your products not just courses, you know, like Teachable or coaching. 
or just the products. Instead, you can use it for everything. So, and, and in our case too, with we already had like 50, 60 products that we were gonna have to move you know, to Kajabi. So we had to get this pro plan because it allowed you to have up to 100 products. So we had to go in paying that $400 a month. And you know, our business, I'm not on here as some like millionaire online business person, especially with the audiences that we serve in our online businesses. $400 a month was a lot. And we were definitely gonna figure out some way to you know, pay annually, so it was 319 a month, but it's still really expensive. However, I would tell you, it's totally been worth it. Love the platform. Uh, again, my favorite thing is probably the fact that they innovate and improve. So I can look forward to, in fact, new features coming out at the time I'm recording this. Uh, there are some great new features coming out that when you, if you sign up for Kajabi and you log in, you'll see them there and you didn't see them in this video here. So if you're thinking about signing up for Kajabi, again, this is uh, my affiliate link. If you want some help from me to give you some coaching, I'd love to help you get set up on Kajabi. Do you use Kajabi or Teachable? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below or maybe you use something else like Podia or I don't know, Kartra or something like that. I'd love to hear what you use or if you don't use any of those platforms, what are you thinking about? What do you, what do you think your business needs? What do you do in your business? Let me know that in the comments. And if this video has been helpful, go ahead and give it a like and hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos helping you take the best next step in your online business.